Good afternoon, good evening wherever you are around the world and welcome back to the Convention Centre at Harris Casino in Atlantic City. We are down to the last 16 and at the end of tonight just four will remain. Our next match is a repeat actually of the very first game on the... So it's a race to nine now. We're down to the business end of this tournament. There's just one day to go tomorrow. Who will be in those two semi finals? Because ta TV tables have been breaking very easily. Yep. So. I don't know. What a nice shot to start a match. Oh, and a lovely little. T she can play it with a degree of safety as well, really. But I don't see her playing any safety off anything. Well, did she play safe? She did. Yeah, but she, she didn't. Hurry yeah, it. She, didn't, she didn't really execute it very well because. After losing to Cheska in that first round, first match, she went on to beat Elise Kiu, Veronique Menard, and then... El yes, Cheska qualified from the winner's side. Is that right? Yeah. She's only played three games. Margaret's played four. Both players will be hoping to play another two games after this. And in her rack. Yes, and... As you know, TV tables playing faster than the other tables. The slide is different, and you can see Margaret actually over, overrun oh, the, pu the look first at this. position. Look at this for a mistake. Wow. Fixes, right? Because the other position seemed to me very tricky, but yeah, it was. Especially because it's it's hard to judge the spin sp on your first. Well, Cheska's going for this all day long. Expect some fireworks like that. What a shot this is if she can miss the eight ball. Can she miss the eight? She certainly can. What a great oh. shot. That was well judged, yeah. Great shot. Oh, and she almost crashed here. <sighs> she just caught the point. Now she's a bit straight, but she's not wasting any time. And maybe that's the reason this time that she missed the ball. She sometimes does that, right? Like it, which it looks like careless, ca some careless shots. Yeah, it's just the way she plays, isn't it? I mean, she just never changes her speed, regardless yeah. of what shot she's playing. She just keeps the same rhythm, same speed. Or if sometimes it takes a little bit more time, right? Maybe just a few seconds more to reconsider. Yeah, we call it impetuousness of youth. Nothing makes you grow up first faster than keep losing when you're playing shots too. There on the five ball. And even though Margaret hooked herself on the five, she's got the chance to win the first track. And she's missed it. Well, we've seen a few nine balls missed. In order to, to make that nine ball, but... You think she's going for the bank here? Or she's going to... Yeah. Probably. Of course. It's of course she is. What a great shot to win the first rack. First rack, right? Very. <laughs> Both players had a great chance. We had a dry break to begin it all. We had <laughs> so Kelly Fisher playing on one of the outside tables. She's just taking a first rack against Melanie Susumguth, who of course beat Jasmine Ocean last night. And we'll keep you up to score with all the other games as they come in. You can go to TV. With the golden break when she was on the hill. So she was 6-5 up, and she made the 9 ball on the break to win. Oh, that must. Balls are rocking better on the TV table, so it's harder to, to see golden break. Yeah. Dry break again from Cheska this time. Oh, and she scratched. No, got away with it. No, she tried to, to draw the ball. Do you enjoy using I it? I do, I do. Yeah. yeah. I did nice. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> she gave that some... Oh, and look, she's had a result, is she? Oh, she left the edge, I think she's left she, the edge. She did leave it, yeah. Yeah. So this one down the rail. Yeah, yeah. it's not e it's not an easy job to make that ball and keep position for the two ball. Yeah, I must say, I've watched a few, of like I know Margaret can play. She's been just a little bit off. She was 5-1 up against Cheska on the very first game of the tournament on this table 5-1 up and eventually lost to Cheska. Yeah, 7-6. Played two matches on the TV table as well, right? Yeah. So that they level. must, yeah. <laughs> they are both more experienced on the TV table than 
than many of the other players. Killed a cue ball as well. Yeah. She's leave going one round, I think. Leave it she? behind. No, no, two rounds. Uh, yeah, she leave the cue ball, maybe stick it behind the six ball or the nine ball there. Is she getting a rail? Yeah, she will get a rail. Oh, for Ruby, that's uh, sent you. Yeah, she also tied, tied up the three ball there. Yeah, this rack's gone messy, hasn't it? Well, look at this for a shot. Very well played, yeah. yeah. Open up told differently, like she, she like lo looks like she doesn't care at all any of her shots. Right? Yeah, and I think when you so play against her, sorry to interrupt yep. you, but when you play against her, it's it, you get sometimes mess. There to play, you, there may be two or three options. Like the player can play, and Cheska just plays something completely different and surprises you all the time. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. It's still a bit of a stretch though. Well, that is quite bad. Quite a long, but that's not an easy shot with the bridge either. It is if you practice with the bridge. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> percented my shots probably. Oh, she's only little for those of you who haven't seen her up close, Christina. She's one of the smaller players on the, the tour, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's Yuki. Yuki's very... Oh, she can get that break power and, you know, control of the ball so well because she's really, really tiny. We just caught a glimpse of the ring there that Tyler Steyer put on that finger. Told you. <laughs> yeah, it was a two way shot, yeah, though. Yeah, two way, yeah. So she left. Normally, she's also she's quite a good jumper. Yeah. I've seen her make very nice shots. Oh, like great shot. Where's the Oh, just clipped the six, but it's. Has it really? No, she's okay. Looks like it's working. Oh, that was a nice stroke. Oh, this time has she been lucky or not? She hasn't. Yeah, she was surprised, wasn't she? Um, yeah, like she a lot of players have been, though. Yeah, she expected that cue ball to stop. But she has been on here. This is the third time now, so I'm sure she understands the speed okay. Oh, yeah, and she would adapt. She would probably adapt quickly. She's <laughs> just the way this girl plays. She's just, you know, she wins so many fans when people see her playing like this because that's what they want to see, isn't it? You're quite quick, though. I've, uh, yeah, I've, are I was slower before. I was slower before. No, you're speeding I, up, are you? I'm speeding up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speeding up. Well, obviously, when you have so many events, speeding down. Only if, if my coach is here, I don't really. Yeah, I've never called my coach in between rugs. Maybe I should, but but I've noticed that every time I take a time out and I get back, I always very very unusual. We only had one out of all the six matches on day one on this table, and we've had three already. Yes, maybe they maybe they'll start breaking softer, or I don't know what's the reason. Yeah, because Cheska hit that quite square, right? We're on the break three times. Did she had good layouts after that? <laughs> <laughs> Just five balls. Okay. Yeah. Like a little bit of low left to get closer. Yeah, five waiting for the side, isn't it? If she prefers it in the side. Yeah, definitely play the five in the side. Because, especially now with... Yeah, Kelly described it as like a, a skating rink, like an ice rink. Yeah, pretty close to the truth. And there, she's concentrated on... Oh, I tell you, I didn't think that was going to drop. She yesterday, too, on this table. Yeah. On a few shots, which I I never expected to miss. But you have to... Yeah, you have to learn how to adapt to these things. Well, she's caught the seven. That was rather a risky shot. She's talking to Kelly. Melanie Susenguff has gone 2-1 up against Kelly Fisher on table two. Hiroguchi... 2-1 up against Sua. Chao Chao Yu has just gone 2-1 down to Wu Jin Lee. I've been so impressed with Wu Jin Lee this week. South Korean, great player. Didn't Wu Jin Lee lose to Kelly? Yes. X M zero or seven zero? Okay. Yeah.
She would love to get a rack on the scoreboard. Oh, absolutely, especially considering she had opportunities in each rack so far. Yeah, and it, you know, will it be in the back of her mind? She was 5-1 up against Cheska in the very first match and still lost. But this should be a formality now. Nice, easy. Eight ball, nine to follow. Easier than the first one, so she's not missing that one. That nine to, to get on the board. And if you if you want to watch the rest of the matches, you can do that on Kuzum. Because few rags, I was a bit tense, but then I was completely relaxed. I was just. Uh, not, not comfortable with the table but otherwise um, yeah and for me personally it works much better when I just when I just follow my intuition as and I get a better rhythm keep going cause any potential banana skins only I think only from the two to the three she has to be careful she's she digging down here table. don't go too hard on this maybe she wants to go into the tree bar yeah, I thought she was going playing into the two ball or the three ball or something there. I think the cue ball stopped just. A lot of them have been under an hour, to be honest. Yeah, so I think, especially for the world nine ball, it's not the biggest tournament, pretty much. Yeah, for I'd, women, I'd agree. I'd agree. It should I be nine all the way. Yeah, I think it's. Until the semis, and then maybe ten, and then be thirteen in the final, maybe. Absolutely, yeah. Or eleven. It's simpler than ten ball, and you may make one or two mistakes and find yourself down. Cue ball, cue ball, cue ball. You know what, so I guess Margaret didn't have didn't have uh, that good angle. I thought the cue ball stopped okay, but looks like. Yeah, she tried a yeah. safety, thinned yeah. it and didn't get the yeah. didn't get the hook. And that's a great that's shot. Look at that. Yeah, good control. So that's a missed opportunity for Margaret because table is laying pretty nicely. And it was al always the, the danger from getting from one to the two and keeping the good angle. Am I seeing things? Is that a bridge? What's that? I thought they were a thing of the past. I thought they were just antiques now that people uh, <laughs> look at may occasionally. Maybe, maybe Cesco was too lazy to go and get her other extension. Yeah, played that nice. Had to go across twice. Little bounce would be nice. Yeah, just don't force it too much like you did on the the seven ball. She doesn't just enough. hold up, does she? Doesn't hold back, does she? She goes for it. Got that jacked up. Crashes jacked that up. in as well. And we're back, guys. Chest cut to break. Can she make a ball on the break? She'd love to. She's got a 3-1 lead. Race to nine. Last 16 match of this year's Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship here at the lovely... Harris Casino Resort, Atlantic City. Made a ball, made the wing ball. Has she got a shot on the one? She certainly has, and we know. <laughs> get that out. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. I think she's got a good angle too. She had the cue ball well. I think she's just slightly the wrong a little side. Bit straight, right? She's already down on the shot. Yeah. But it's still from where the five, uh, the four ball is laying. It's pretty good. Look at. Just come up Her near bridge the spot. is so long sometimes. How, how lovely it must be to feel the way Cheska plays when she plays this game. Just completely relaxed, having fun, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And a carefree I attitude. Like, yeah. I like that feeling, yeah. Like that's why I'm I'm actually happy with my game today. Even though I lost, I felt pretty good, very, really confident enjoying the game. So that's it's a pleasure to play like that. Right. Well, this is g I'll tell you what. Yeah. The danger. Sponsor, uh, in Bulgaria calls me the Golden Girl because my surname means Golden in Bulgarian. Oh, is but it? I don't really. Yeah. It's not. I don't have. An, I don't really like having an official nickname, to be honest. Well, and especially one the Golden Girl. I mean, that's a a TV series about three old same situation as long as she makes the one ball 
gets well on the two and ball. she's out. <laughs> she just, yeah, well sh she still needs st needs an angle. But she can clip this for, for clip the, it, the yeah. Four to the five. Yeah, but this, she's using the bridge here. Yeah. I guess she's quite comfortable in using the bridge. And clipped it out beautifully as well. I'll tell you what, this is great stuff. I remember she played like this against Jasmine in, I think it was Puerto Rico, wasn't it, in the semi-final? She they beat played Jasmine in, in the semi-final, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, I think so. Now what is she going? She's going to... Okay, she's drawing that. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Well, this could be over very quickly, you know. I know it's a race to nine now, but she's over halfway with this nine. Oh, she's changed her mind twice there. Decided to spin it round three rails. Finished perfect on the nine. I think you can say she's in the zone at the moment. She's playing jam up. In it goes. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. That's the good thing a nice about experience. The good thing about the pool world is there's always somewhere to stay, right? There's always somebody got a bed for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's especially in the States. The speed that wing ball went in. One in the side, eight in the corner. Yeah, I think she's now she's hitting the braid with the right speed. She's not she's not overheating it. Whoa, whoa. It's pretty Oh, she's overhit this. Don't be surprised yeah. if she pots it somewhere though. She can bank this. She can straighten this up, can't she? Can she bury it into the rail oh, and straighten it up? That. No, I think she'll probably double kiss the. She is. No, she's not. She's safety. Is she safety? I don't See. know what she's doing. She is banking it. Yeah. She banked it twice across. Oh dear, that will hurt. That will hurt. Yeah, you always, you always have that option when you bank a ball. Well, that for Cheska was a safety shot. Really, that's as close as she ever gets to a safety shot. I think. Now, this was the score, but reversed in our very first match on this table. It was 5-1 to Fefilova, and she ended up losing. Yes, and that's the third break and run out from Cheska after she makes that nine ball. Yeah, it's a three-pack. In it goes. Absolutely, and, and with the level of, of these players, you may, really, you may never get a chance or one or two chances, and it's over. I think it's more fair if it's... If it's oh. not winner's break. Yeah, I think all Margaret can hope for is a dry break or a scratch somewhere along. Look at this. This. Yes, everything is open. Look, it's easy for her, of course. Even for you, it looks easy, <laughs> right? From here, <laughs> especially. Well, I fancy making the one and two, but from here on in, I'm beat. Yes, and she, you know what? She also got the speed down. She's her, she she's hitting the balls uh, with lighter speed now, compared to the beginning. She's like, she's really settled down now. Yeah, she's feeling it, yeah. isn't she? But she's yeah. It's beautiful like to watch. Feeling player. Beautiful. Oh, oh and that's just careless. That's that's what she does sometimes. She was up walking. In two minutes now, she's not even going to remember that. As soon as she gets back to the table. She probably wanted to run out the whole match, but and she had that chance. Yeah, I know we've had a, a four and a five pack on, on the outside tables. Have you experienced any? Have you had any? Have you had any big packs? Two two pack. Two pack and, and I my cue ball got kicked in. Wasn't was he a rapper? So. <laughs> he was a rapper, wasn't he? Yeah, that was so unlucky because I, I was getting into in a good stroke, and though then I, I broke really well. Cubo was in s center of the po uh, of the table, and then some ball came and kicked the ball in. So that was for my third to break and run. But no, yeah, I did a couple. I don't know, so three times maybe I did two break and run outs. Depends on the referee who's racking the balls for you too. Cause some and the tables, some tables don't rack very well, so. It's it's hard to make uh, many balls on the break. Yeah. It's four games to two. Uh, the world ten ball champion, 
Che Yu Cho is leading Wu Jin Li three games to two. She was down 2 1, so she came back. Leading 3 to 2. Yuki Hiroguchi and Seo Soa from Korea are tied with three games apiece. You're after my job, aren't you? I can hold for the three. I need your expert opinion for that when we. Oh, somebody falling asleep there. Wake up. Yeah, she can absolutely. She can uh, as long as she can make the two ball, which I'm not sure she. Yeah, she has a gap. She prefers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She she preferred to go the other side. And then push the ball over, so she hit it thin. Hold on. Stop. Press. Hold the back page. Cheska Centino has just played a safety shot. And a good one. And yeah, Margaret one, can't yeah. see the two ball. She has a two rail escape here where she can she can maybe create something. Put some distance between the balls. Well it goes now. It's a good effort. A bit unlucky that she double kissed the three ball. Nice shirt she's got on, isn't it? I like her shirt. Yeah, we didn't have time to look at it in more detail, though, because Cheska's already playing the three ball. <laughs> He's already gone. <laughs> Give us a chance, Cheska. Yeah, she got that new hairstyle for the World Nine Ball, right? She got it just, just before coming here. Yeah, I'd never seen it before. Oh, a lovely little bit of left English, just. Yeah, so I like the way ha how she lets the cue ball go around the table. She's not trying to hold anything. We're just letting her stroll out. And as long as she's she gets used to table speed, then everything looks really nice. Easier. I mean, look at that. Just strokes beautifully out. as well. She's got the big shots. She's got the long strokes. She's got the little taps. She's got everything. Yeah, played this to come down and up again. Yes, now she has the eight ball, the nine ball for the other side pocket. Yeah, it must be frightening, mustn't it, to be sitting in your chair watching this girl play. Yeah, and, uh, and maybe now she's playing it to the corner. bottom corner. No? No. She yes. Hmm. Just ended up with that, that tricky angle. I wonder if she's ever taken an extension <laughs> in a rack. Yeah, not this game. Oh, wow, well, she bangs her cue on the table and... Well, for her. We used to have a great saying about a terrific snooker player, Jimmy White, who used to play exactly the same as her when he was her age. And we used to say, he flatters to deceive and frustrates everybody. And it really is frustrating sometimes. What? It unintentionally, because she didn't really have to, right? She never looked comfortable on it from from the moment she got on the nine because she didn't yeah. know where to take it and she I don't think she'd made up her mind. She played like in between yeah. kind of shot. And she didn't want to use her extension. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why Ball on the she? break. Are we witnessing a change in this match? Well, she's got a long two. Not easy, but she can just drop this in. There. She's still not on the rail, which is better. But she has to really concentrate on this shot. Yeah, just keep still. Just stroke it in. Don't move the head or anything. And she's overcut it. And if anything, I, I think that's been her. I don't think she played that with any spin. No, she just she, she just aimed wrong, I Cue guess. Because the four. Look at this, look at this. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, she just left it straight. Didn't I come across it or anything? It, no, it didn't look like it. It looked like she was steady on the shot. She just... Uh, Probably misjudged it. Now she has to be careful with the eight ball because it looks very close. Oh, great jump shot. Good shot. Has shot she had any luck though? Has she had any I think luck? She will and I don't think so. Confidence throw here. And she's six three up, so she she must feel very good. Even even with all the mistakes she made, she also made a trip back, which helped her. Well, that's pretty much the difference, actually, between them right now. Absolutely, yeah. Well spotted, Miss Lateva. You can come back again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they've both made balls on the break. It's just that 
Cesco capitalized her the, the tough shots she had. And Margaret's been struggling with that, like you said. So much like she can't even wait for the cue ball to stop. She's saying, come on, stop. I want to pop the nine ball. <laughs> and it goes. Lovely moment. Lovely moment. Well, with that break, and it breaks like this, she may need like five more, more minutes to win the match, to be honest. This is exactly what she did against Jasmine in Puerto Rico. I sat watching the final, Cheska versus Weiwei. Oh, that final. went wrong. You, you were there as well, weren't you? Yeah, I watched the final. But Cheska's, uh, she also did many unforced errors there. And way, way kept her in her chair as well. So Absolutely. That's the important thing. Yeah. I can remember Jasmine saying, well, she never played like that against me. She made everything against me. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, Jasmine also said that Chess got really lucky also. Oh, on look the at this. Missed. Look at that for a shot. Beautifully played. Great recovery shot. Brilliant shot. Now she's back in line again. Well, I turned round to write down a little bit of information and uh, I missed her putting two balls. She's on the hill. Cheska, our first lady into the quarterfinals of the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship 2023. She's made two balls at least on the break that I saw. Three ball coming down to have a look at the pocket as well. Is that going to oh, drop? Well, she wished it would have done. It Does, doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. I didn't see that. the two. Look at the two ball. Yes, yeah, sorry, that. Christina. Wow, look at this. I think this is over, guys. I think this is... Oh, she's played this well. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's better. Much better. Easier to get out. Because when the, when the ball is in the pocket, it's very hard to control it when you're not close to one of the rails. Okay. Much harder. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all much better when she's close to the rail like that. She has... And go to work with. She oh, decided beautiful. to draw it straight back. She's not. I think she's, she's in not stroke. Very <laughs> comfortable with the rails, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got just the wrong angle here. Can she just force it? Okay, just draw it. Yeah, she can do that. She can do that on this table because it's very quick, right? You don't really have to put too much power on it. Although it looks like you do. You do, but. Well, this is Look a master class in, in less attacking. Less than an hour. Less than an hour. We have a brilliant. In it goes. Cheska Centino into the quarter final. Salamat sa panonood ng video na ito at kung nagustuhan niyo ang aming content, paki-press ang like at subscribe button para matulungan pa natin ang ating channel na makita ng iba pa nating fellow billiard fans. So see you in the next video. Peace out.